Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my design channel, graphic design, art, everything. Please check out how you can donate below, become a patron to my channel, help support the channel run, and also check out my Instagram, oh, like I always say, because that's where I post. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Today's video is the highly requested, honestly, gradient tutorial. Yes, you guys asked for it because I did a branding project recently. I mean, it was kind of a little while ago now, but I keep getting comments on that video because it did really well, way better than I expected, where they were like, why didn't you make your own gradients? Why did you just use images? Honestly, because I wanted it to be a little project and made a video that I didn't think would blow up. I thought a few people in my subscriber community would see it. Yeah, so people were wondering, like, why didn't I make gradients actually in that video. I really just kind of got lazy and tired and was like, oh, I'm just using pictures for the marketing purpose, not for the design purpose, you know? So I'm making up for it in this video, but also teaching you how to do some different styles of gradients. Now, I will say this is not going to be a full tutorial, like how to do every single step. I like to do things kind of where you know what's going on. You can follow along with me and also show how I do it specifically like me. Um, some people comment things on my channel and they're like, that's not actually how you do it. Or you can do it faster like this. This is how I do it. I don't know. I'm just sharing my ideas and sometimes that might not be the way that everyone does it. Um, I just wanted to create a few different ways. I've made gradients in kind of different ways. I don't know how popular they are, so I'll show you some ways. Okay, so let's get into it. Starting with Illustrator, I'm going to show you an Illustrator and a Photoshop tutorial. Um, so starting with Illustrator, I always just open like a square artboard. Ooh, okay, so this is fun. Let me show you some ways. What you want to do is make a shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a square over top of the entire artboard just so we can see it on a bigger scale. Okay, so when you make the square, I obviously took away the border, but the fill, you can make any color. I mean, the gradient's gonna go over that background color of the shape, so it's up to you. Um, if you want it to be white, if you want it to be a background, like, obviously there's lots of different options. I'm gonna go with like kind of a brightish blue. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it. Okay, so here we are, we have a blue background and we're gonna select into the object go up to object and we're going to hit create gradient mesh so as you can see here oh obviously the lines here are blue also so sorry if that's a little hard to see but <laughs> the highlighted lines will pop up and you can choose how many rows and columns you want to start creating this gradient shape and basically these lines where they intersect is where you can start like customizing a gradient so i'm gonna go with three by three just so i can show you so now you have it it's highlighted with that shape mesh over it and you're going to go into the gradient mesh tool itself which is the keyboard shortcut is you if you want to know so here it is and what we're going to do is actually click where these lines intersect right here now you can open the fill and change the color and that creates a gradient like a um, color beaming out from the little point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in to the other one and I'm going to eye drop it to just get that exact color. And as you can see, it kind of like does this little like faded thing. So you can do that or you can copy the color code. Every time I want to click on a point, I go back to that gradient mesh tool and I click on the next point. And I'm going to do a different color on this side to show some kind of contrast. So now that we've done all four parts, you can click here and on that gradient mesh tool, you can start changing up the shape of the actual gradient colors. So it's really customizable. As you can see, if I click and drag, this will drag with it and it really just starts bending the colors, kind of fading them around and it just looks really cool. I'm gonna pull this one this way, this one this way and just seeing how it looks. I really like kind of this like swirl look but just make sure you're clicked in that gradient mesh tool while you do this or else like you're not gonna be able to change the actual gradient part. I love the way this one looks. Here are some other ones that I have created. I just think it looks like so exciting and dreamy <laughs> at the same time, depending on like the colors you use, everything. So yeah, it's really fun. This one is one with a white background and then this one obviously is the same kind of theme. I was just working a lot with that blue and different colorways to see what it looked like. So let me show you another Illustrator one before we go to Photoshop because my Photoshop one is a little bit more like experimental, kind of like something I do. Um, but let me show you another like great gradient in Illustrator that I think works perfect for projects. So again, we're going to just make a big shape over top just so we can see it well. And what I'm going to do here is click in the actual gradient tool, keyboard shortcut G. And what I have to do here is just 
double click onto the square onto your shape and it will create that gradient and it'll probably be in grayscale when you first make it so um, just make sure to check your color settings up on the right. Um, mine's already in RGB, but it just kind of comes up black and white. And as you can see over here, there are a few different gradient types in the gradient tool. There's a linear, a radial, and a freeform. Um, I really like the freeform, and that's what I'm going to show you. So I clicked and I changed it into freeform. And as you can see, it already popped up with like similar colors I was already using. But we're going to change those, and this is basically how you do it. It will come up with these little points. So as you can see, it will come up with these four points. And this is where you start changing the color and then you can even drag these around and really change the look of that gradient. But overall, I really love this one because I feel like it just looks so pretty and like look how you can change it. If you want to have more green in this, that would be like overtaking it. You can fade it out over here, make it kind of like closed. There's just so many things you can do with it and if you, if you even click, you can add more colors and more points that you can even add even more to hopefully that makes sense i'm just like talking because i'm excited about it but yeah it's just so fun and looks so pretty and it's just such an easy way to make a gradient and again to edit just make sure you're in that right tool and you can just go crazy with it okay so those are my two gradient tutorials for illustrator i hope those made sense to you and you can start exploring and playing with them to see what kind of shapes you can create and kind of customize your own and start working with those in your project i know gradients are so in right now so i'm loving this now let me show you photoshop so i can show you kind of like a brush tool thing that i want to do um i feel like it has that gradient look and just looks so nice and has that faded look that is so in right now okay so we open photoshop we open just a regular like whatever canvas doesn't matter um what i'm going to do is show you a kind of experimental way to do a gradient that i've been doing lately it's just kind of fun um it's with the brush tool and it's creating like a radial type of gradient so i don't know if a lot of people do this i really don't know i'm not claiming this is like my thing but it's really fun so opening the brush tool which is b on the keyboard or it's over here if you need that um you want to open the soft round brush it just works so well for everything i do i love it so <laughs> i'm going to open that up i love the faded look of it um so that's what i'm going with and i'm gonna pick a color in our little color area and in layer one i'm going to just click in and it puts down color right away and if you click more the more it puts down so did that it's kind of just like that radial shape which i think is perfect for this project opening another layer um i just do another color let's see let's do like an orange why not and make the brush size just a little bit smaller and just put down a color there in the middle and as you can see it's kind of creating that faded shape so we're gonna open another layer just so it's easy and editable later layers are the best and we're gonna open another color black because we're risking it all you know so that looks cool um and then let's put something in front of the black just to bring it all together maybe more of that yellow Ooh, that's really harsh but what we can do here is also change opacity for that kind of color and bringing the opacity down kind of just brought it to a, a central point it's kind of created this gradient radius look um that i just think looks really cool okay so changing the background color also changes the effect of the gradient as you can see here if we were to do black it just looks like really intense and really cool um but that's kind of like my new experimental way to do like a gradient radius thing i don't know and also with this you can just do so many different things like trial and error see what works and you know what doesn't um but the, this is a really cool way that i've just been doing lately and seeing how that works out and i really like it okay guys so that was my gradient tutorial for you i hope you enjoyed i hope it helped inspired you you know did all the things that hopefully my channel can do for you as designers you know we're always learning from each other and it's so fun and i just love making this type of stuff so hopefully you found it helpful yeah um if you liked it please give it a like. It really helps my channel. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ring the bell so you get notified when I upload for you guys. Um, I have so many ideas coming. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Cool. Okay. Bye. Make it a little bit smaller in the brush side. I'm literally not screen recording again. What's wrong with me? Oh my gosh, my foot's asleep. Ah, I can't even feel it.